Welcome to the Horizon 3.0 with STEM Guide Pro demonstration video brought to you by MagStim. MagStim TMS therapy is a non-invasive effective treatment for mental health disorders. Landmark registration. Confirm that the camera is switched on, indicated by the digital display in the center of the camera. Inform the patient not to move the affixed head reference tool and to inform the TMS technician if this occurs. Ensure all TMS technicians are using the correct landmark locations for treatment consistency and accuracy. Move the remote pointer tool around the patient's head to confirm the camera's field of view as indicated by turning green on the Horizon user interface. Place the head reference tool on the patient's head in a location that will be visible to the camera but not impede the position of the coils. Avoid areas like the jaw which may be susceptible to movement. Carefully position the remote pointer tool on the landmark sites. Confirm that the pointer tool and head references statuses are green on the Horizon UI. Press the green button on the remote pointer tool to register the landmark site. A location registration will be indicated on screen by a change of status against the landmark being registered. Note that hair or fingers may block the field of view between reference tool spheres and camera, which could result in the tools not showing as green on Horizon UI. To unregister a landmark, select the Redo icon on the screen or press the red button on the remote pointer tool and repeat the landmark site registration. Once all landmarks have been registered, select Next. In RMT settings, the following are configurable. MT Hotspot Target Name, Target Type, Additional Landmark Name, TMS Location Guide, Charge Delay and Duration. Once all fields have been confirmed, select the blue check icon to move to the Define MT Hotspot screen. Determining the resting motor threshold using EMG. Motor cortex sensitivity. Position the patient with arms resting on the chair armrests. Attach the EMG electrodes. With the Horizon MT coil connected, press and hold one multifunction button to charge the system. Set the power output to 50% on the Horizon UI or MT coil control interface. Referring to the Horizon UI, move the MT coil so the coil icon is over C3 on the 3D head model. Ensure that the coil is at a 45 degree angle to the midline and tangential to the curvature of the head. Press both multifunction buttons on the MT coil to deliver a pulse. When delivering pulses, watch the stimulation panel on the Horizon UI, observing for a clean EMG response. A clean response should have an amplitude greater than 50 microvolts. Finding the motor hotspot. Using the stimulator output defined by the previous steps, deliver one pulse one centimeter above C3. Continue searching in a grid pattern for a minimum of nine pulses, at least two seconds apart. From the stimulus list panel, select the stimulus that corresponds with the strongest response to visualize the coil's location on the Horizon UI location window. Motor threshold determination. Place the coil over the hotspot target. Using the previously defined stimulator output, deliver 10 pulses at least two seconds apart. If a positive twitch is observed, this can be recorded by pressing the check icon in the response column within the stimulation panel. Use the response flowchart to adjust the power level based on the observed responses. The resulting stimulator output is the patient's motor threshold. On the Horizon UI, register the desired response and press the blue check icon. Defining the treatment target. Place the MT coil on the treatment location displayed by the yellow cylinder, ensuring that the coil is placed at a 45 degree angle to the midline of the head and placed tangential to the curvature of the head. Once the coil is within the acceptable tolerance, the cylinder will turn green. Deliver a pulse on the target location. Register the delivered stimulus by selecting the corresponding register box in the stimulation window. Press Save and Close. 
Alternatively, additional targets can be added by selecting Save and Add Additional. Assigning a Treatment Plan A treatment plan is the assignment of a treatment protocol. Before beginning, complete a motor threshold determination and register the treatment location. On the patient record, within the Treatment Plan window, select Assign Treatment Plan. Press the Expand icon to expand the individual or combined treatment lists. Select a combined or individual treatment template from the drop-down box. Use the STEM Guide Location drop-down box to select the correct treatment target. If no name was associated to the target, its preset name will contain the date it was entered. Enter a name for the plan, for example, Standard. Enter the number of treatments and select the check icon to save the treatment plan. Positioning the treatment coil. Connect the treatment coil to the stimulator. Raise or lower the treatment chair height to adjust the level of the patient's head. If needed, unlock the height adjustment lock and central locking knob to adjust the height of the articulated arm for optimal coil reach. Ensure the gray coil cable has enough slack for optimal maneuverability. Ensure that the black balance cable is directly over the treatment site in a vertical position. If needed, use the brake control foot switch to unlock the holding arm and reposition. Unlock the central locking knob fully to adjust the coil position. Position the coil on the treatment location roughly at a 45 degree angle and tighten the central locking knob. Unlock the coil angle lock and refine the coil angle so that all measurements show green. Tighten the coil angle lock to secure the coil position. Visually confirm the coil is at a 45 degree angle to the midline tangential to the curvature of the head. Ensure that the treatment location, gimbal, and border all turn green. Visually confirm the coil is in contact with the head. The gimbal is used to manipulate the coil into the correct orientation. The goal is to get the red dot into the center of the black circle and the red lines in the middle of the two black triangles. The line and triangles represent the left and right rotation. The black circle represents the forward and backwards tilt and the left and right side tilt. Delivering a treatment. On the patient record, select Run Treatment, confirm the patient's date of birth, and select the check icon. Undertake the landmark registration process or select Use Existing Landmarks if the head reference tool hasn't been removed since undertaking the motor threshold assessment of the same session. On the treatment screen, confirm the required treatment is displayed in the treatment summary. Press the amber arm button to charge the system. Confirm the coil placement and press the green trigger button to begin the treatment. The power level can be adjusted before or during treatment using the scroll wheel. Select the check icon in the center of the rotary wheel to confirm the power level change. The coil must remain in contact with the patient's head throughout the treatment. On the Horizon UI, a constant green border will indicate coil placement is within the specified location. Ensure that the treatment location, gimbal, and border all turn green. To toggle between the control and coil location views, press the Toggle Navigation button. If treatment needs to be paused, press the red Stop button. To resume the treatment, recheck the coil position and press the Amber Arm button to charge the system. Confirm the session is to be resumed. Press the green Trigger button to resume the treatment session. Once the treatment is completed, the system will display a pulse quality score that indicates the number of pulses delivered within the specified tolerances relative to the four parameters. A prompt will appear with an option to deliver additional pulses, up to the number of pulses which may have been out of treatment position. Use the control dial to choose the number of pulses to deliver. Press the check icon to return to the treatment run screen to deliver the additional pulses. Managing patient records. Adding a new patient. Select the Patients tab and press Add New Patient. Enter the patient information, name, date of birth, and unique patient ID. Press the check icon to save. 
Finding an existing patient record. Select the Patients tab to display the patient record database. Use the filters to view active, archived, or all patient records. Press a heading to sort the records database according to that column. Choose to show or hide patient details using the hidden content icon. Use the search bar to find a patient record using first name, last name, or patient ID. Editing a patient record. To edit the patient details, open the patient record and select the Edit icon from the Overview page. Press the check icon to save. Exporting data from a patient record. Motor threshold and treatment data can be exported. On the patient record, select either the RMT History tab or Treatment History tab and select Export. A removable drive must be inserted to export data. Archiving a patient record. Open the patient record and select the Edit icon from the Overview page. On the Add or Edit Patient Details window, select Archive from the Status drop-down list. The patient record will be archived, but not deleted. To retrieve the patient record, select either the Archived or All filter on the patient database and search for the patient record using first name, last name, or patient ID. Editing a treatment plan. On the patient record, within the treatment plan window, select Edit Treatment Plan. Adjust the patient treatment plan using the same steps to assign and finalize the original treatment plan. Press the check icon to save the adjusted treatment plan. Note that the new treatment plan will be assigned to the patient and the old treatment plan will be archived. The system does not allow for two treatment plans with differing motor threshold values. Combined treatment templates should be used to achieve this. Unassigning a treatment plan. On the patient record, select the Treatment Plan tab. Press Unassign Plan. The treatment plan, along with any progress, will then be archived. Troubleshooting tips for if tracking references are not detectable. Ensure the tracking reference is not obscured by the TMS technician or the patient, for example, the patient's hair or treater's hand. Check that the tracking spheres are securely attached to the mounts. If the tracking spheres are worn, try rotating the less worn side towards the camera and replace with new spheres as soon as possible. If the MT coil is not being detected, ensure the tracker is oriented correctly on the coil. Ensure the patient is not wearing shiny or reflective clothing or bright lights are being shown, which can hinder detection of the spheres.